Hey, welcome to a video. This is going to be how to replace the two piece turbo line that goes from your turbo to your cylinder head. I'm going to try to make this video quick. On my car's front mount, if you're a top mount, I assume you would take the top mount off, but I'm going to take this charge pipe out. So that's the first thing I'm going to start with taking the charge pipe out. So we've got a 14 millimeter bolt up here. You just disconnect this. AOS hose. I'm gonna disconnect both of these because it literally takes five seconds. And is it they only go in one way? Or will they both go to the same place? We've got tons of access to the turbo right here. It's gonna be easy. I'm not sure if this is gonna spill or not, but I have a boogie board with a towel on it underneath the car in case it spills. Banjo bolt. One out. The line was spraying out like right about here earlier. Pissed me off, had to get a tow home. Ideally we'd be in the air, and I think getting from down to the left would be easier, but we're not, so. It's kind of tight, we're gonna have to get to it though. I think a wrench will be able to get this. And normally, when you break something free, or like when you break these bandage bolts free, they spin out pretty freely once they get loosened up. So I don't want to do this, but I only have an adjustable, so I'm going to try and get this with the adjustable. It might not work, because I the one day I don't have a lot of tools here is, of course, the day that I need a 17 mil wrench, and I never bring wrenches. Or I usually always bring wrenches, but I didn't bring wrenches this time. Yeah, baby. Ah, there we go, that felt good. Yeah, look at that. Once you get it going, you can see this pipe is moving now. Oh, that little O-ring thing just fell off. I think it hit the ground. Not really anywhere bad for it to go. So I'm just gonna unthread this banjo bolt by hand. There's no real good view, I apologize. Spilled a little bit of oil. Okay, there's our final product. This banjo line. Cracked up here. I'm not sure if it'll be visible. I'm gonna go run water through and see what's up. So I got the line out. I couldn't get pressurized it enough to make it spray. 
out of here. So here's the big end, here's the small end, it's taken out. This is a one piece line. This is not a union. I'll try to hold this with my mouth. That's one piece line, so. And I call Superback be like, yeah, this is one piece. What are you talking about? Where's my part? Why are you incompetent? But alas, it's out. Installs the reverse cell removal. I don't think you're gonna be able to get a torque wrench on this if you do it the flat right way like this. So I just snug them up, make sure they don't leak, don't over tighten them. Let's start out loose. And yeah, just make sure they don't fall out. That's all about, about all I gotta say. Thanks for watching this video. I'll let you guys know when um, they order the correct part or when the correct part, part is here. For now, peace out. When you're transporting shit around, just like, you know, try to prevent oil spills. Sometimes it happens. But just kind of try to be the most respectful to the environment as you can be.